So, Dr. Nadison, how did you come to write this book, Dangerous or Safe? Well, it, you know, when you're in the office, the questions that you get are largely, is something okay for your child or is it dangerous for them? And this notion applies to everything. It's, are the foods I'm giving my child okay? The drinks, the medicines, the, you know, what about a cell phone? What about sunscreen? What about DEET? And every question is basically the same. Is, is it okay? Is it not okay? Is it dangerous? Is it safe? And the answer is really very simple. It's usually yes or no. Mm -hmm. But the why, the, the reason behind it and the science behind it is takes a while to go through. And doctors just don't have the time to explain to patients. And I found in practice that a lot of patients were not asking me anymore because there wasn't time in the office. So they were just asking their friends. Mm -hmm. And things took on a life of their own. There was a ton of hype. Yes. And sometimes the answers were wrong. The community answers were wrong. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like parents want a place to go where they can know, okay, what do I really need to worry about? I can't lose sleep over everything. Absolutely. If I have to pick three, what top three things do I have to be nervous about and what can I really relax about? So what are the top three things <laughs> that I have to worry Actually, about? I only have two. <laughs> I wrote 25 chapters and I will tell you almost everything that we worry about, we worry about in excess, uh -huh. okay? Uh, the data really shows that it's what your mother said. Everything in moderation and you'll probably be fine. Uh -huh. So I think we've gone way too far overboard in terms of being concerned. I do worry about cell phones. Um, I generally, although at the start of our conversation, I held a cell phone up to my head. I almost <laughs> never do. Um, really? And the reason I almost never do is that there is a lot of data now, and it's very compelling data, that the electromagnetic radiation that comes out of an antenna of a cell phone, uh -huh. that when that cell phone is head, held right up to your head, your brain is within the field, and there is some cellular effect wow. of that electromagnetic radiation. And I will tell you that it's not just your cell phone, it's your cordless phone at home too. Same mechanism, right? There's a big antenna. And so the one thing, if I can preach one thing from my book, it's go back to the cord, put a wired earpiece in your cell phone, use surround sound Bluetooth or speaker on your cell phone, go to the old school corded phones at home, but don't put an antenna next to your head and don't put an antenna next to your kid's head because I do believe that we're going to start to see illness many, many, many years from now as a result of our behavior today. Or Skype. Skype maybe. Or Skype. <laughs> Yeah, Skype, great, love it. So that's the main one. The secondary, and it's really a secondary, is I, I do think that we should be learning a little bit more about what we're eating. I was never a big organic person. I never really felt strongly about it until I started reading about how foods are modified in a laboratory and how it works and how non-organic produce is made. Yes. And I have started to feel very strongly that we should ask our government to label what is in our food? Mm -hmm. What's in your apple? What's in your carrot? What's in your tomato? Mm -hmm. Because you'll be surprised to find out that it has other foods in there, that your tomato might be genetically modified with a little peanut protein. And Absolutely. if you have a peanut allergic kid, you're not thinking about mm -hmm. peanuts when they're eating tomato. Yes. So I do believe that we should look to our government to start labeling foods a little bit more stringently, especially non-organic foods. But it's really, that's sort of a secondary worry, and almost everything else is okay. Well, thank you so much. And your book is out on October 8th? October 8th. Well, congratulations, yeah. and thank you for thank being with you. us.